Hello everyone, you are welcome back to Pedro Apollo's podcast and today I have the pleasure of interviewing my dear friend and a brother, Obina Stanley. He is a Nigerian living here in Italy. I am meeting him today to interview him and to get to present him to, the, to my viewers and my followers so that together we will be able to get to know who is Obina Stanley. It is indeed my pleasure because I have known Obina Stanley for the past 10 years. I know how hard he works and I know how disciplined he is. And I strongly believe that he has got some vital information to share with us today that may be very helpful to every one of us listening. So it is my pleasure to present to you all Obina Stanley. Thank you so much. Thank you for accepting the invitation to attend my podcast today and so get to know my followers and my viewers as well. Thank you so much. It's really a privilege to be here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome, brother. you especially welcome. And then, anyway, like I, I have just said to my viewers, I think we will go straight into our interview for today. And uh, my my question, I think the first thing that will enable my viewers to get to know who exactly you are is to ask who exactly is Obina Stanley. How would you like to introduce yourself or present yourself to the public? Who is Obina Stanley? Okay, thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, my name is Obina Stanley, Mr. Obina Stanley, and. Um, I'm a Christian, I'm a Nigerian, and I hail from the eastern part of Nigeria, precisely Imo State, Nigeria, and I'm an origin of um, Uruawa in Idato local government area of Imo State in Nigeria. So basically, I'm Obina Stanley. Obina Stanley, a Christian, he hails from the eastern part of Nigeria. Uh, Anyway, we'll get to know him as we begin to speak for the, I mean, we'll, okay. during the course of our discussion. Okay. Mr. Obina, you said that you hail from the eastern part of Nigeria. Yes. Uh, I am also from Nigeria. Okay. I know how, I have an idea. I may not know the entirety of the cultural background and the little diversity, the various cultural background and diversity that we have in Nigeria. But, there is one thing, in my opinion, that stands out in our culture back home in Nigeria. I would like, therefore, to ask, how is your family life like? I mean, from, from the family that you hail from, how was it organized? Are you from a polygamous family or not? And how was it like growing up in Nigeria? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I... I'm not from a polygamous family. My family has always been a monogamous one. And um, growing up, we've always been in the Christian faith. In fact, we were born in the Catholic church. Uh, when I came into existence, I saw my parents going to a Catholic church. So I followed suit, you know. So um, we've been basically Christians and Catholics. And um, I'm going to extend it right now. I, I've also noticed, I've seen, even growing up, I saw that uh, our extended families are also Catholics. Okay. They are predominantly from the Catholic faith. And maybe as time went on, people began to diversify into other Christian you know, denominations. Denomination. But the truth of the matter is that we've been Christians and we've been Catholic. In fact, I am from a Catholic origin, you know, because my family have always been Catholic Catholics. Catholics. Yes. So um, that has been my background, you know, in family wise. Family wise, exactly. And how was it like growing up? If you could, I mean, looking back to how life was for you, your earlier years, how will you describe your your earlier days in Nigeria? Okay, um, my early days have not been different, you know, from every other Nigerian. Mm -hmm. 
I may not have come from a wealthy family, but I came from a very noble family. And um, my father was uh, very stable. My father was a teacher back home. So we've been academicians. I came from a family of academicians. My father is a teacher. And in fact, you know, it's something that has been hereditary because um, my grandparents too were also in the educating line. Okay. So growing up for with a father that has been a teacher, uh, it's, it's been, you know, wonderful. Wonderful in the sense that it has always been school, 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 go to school, make sure you get good grades. And it really helped because while I was in school growing up, I was one of the, you know, bright students then as, as little I, as I was. So growing up has been very, very wonderful. It's not been different. My mom was from a very wealthy family, but from a noble, you know, and stable family, you know, and um, it has it has not been challenging, so challenging like that, but it has been very, very, mm -hmm. you know, um, wonderful growing up. Yeah. So, you know, talking about my childhood, I went to primary school. You know, I went to. Primary school, a private primary school, I did the London primary school that was, you know, back then in the area we lived okay. as at that time, after which I, you know, went into secondary school. I actually attended the, the command secondary school um, in, in Anapaja, in Lagos. Okay. Because my father, being a disciplinarian, he has always wanted me to be a military person. Wow. Yes, he has all what in fact he sent me he had the ambition of sending me to NDA after my secondary school. I said, Look That's incredible. <laughs> I yeah, I decided because I said no. I know what I wanted to be. Okay. I saw military, you know, military field as a very strict field. I saw how they acted and all those things. So I decided that no, I was not going to go that route. I was going to go into what I believe would be the reason for my existence, you know, which is to impact the people around me, to impact the world mm -hmm. at large. So that is in my secondary school, was a military school. I, I and they, in, and they in Yanapaja, in yes, Lagos. Yes, and I was a boarder. So that school actually imbibed a whole lot of discipline into me because I remember growing up, I was a rascal, you know, very stubborn and all those things, you know, children. But by the time I passed through that educational system, my level of discipline was, uh, how should I say, was um, impacted on the positive side because I became very, very disciplined and I learned a whole lot of things while you know, doing that. So um, my growing up years have been very, very wonderful. It has been nice for me, it has been great. And when I look back to all those uh, um, years, I believe they've been able to help to shape me to who I have been, I am right now. So, that's it.